Hey guys, uh, Aaron here with another update on the Camaro. Um, got a few parts in, ordered. Uh, they just arrived the other day, so I had, had a few minutes, so I started smacking some on there. Uh, it's getting a little bit closer. Um, as you can see, we'll flip the camera around. Um, we've got the alternator in place with the CBR relocation bracket. A very great piece right here. Uh, it's much better quality than uh, previous competitors, I should say. Um, and this acts as your belt tensioner. You can loosen it up one way and use it to tighten up your belt. Um, I'll take a piece of string, run it around uh, my accessories, um, then get the length, take it to auto parts store, and see the exact length, see if I can find one to match. Um, second set of parts I got is for power steering. It's uh, from CBR Performance as well. It's their power steering, um, I guess it's turbo lines or something for flipped manifolds. As you can see, you flip uh, your manifolds forward for the turbo. Uh, it's got plenty of line there. Uh, that way none of your exhaust or anything gets near those. Uh, let's see. That's my oil feed line. I actually just have it going into my little oil reservoir there. That way when I start it without the turbo, <coughs> I'm not throwing oil everywhere. Um, okay, next set of parts. Uh, we've got the flange, five inch to four inch reducer. Um, that is from VS Racing. It's the Little John Motorsports flange as well. Um, I might be wrong, but I'm actually thinking it's cheaper to order it off VS Racing than Little John um, off that company themselves. Fantastic bracket, a lot of people use it. Um, let me, I'll take a piece of four inch pipe. It actually sits right down in there beautifully. Um, so then you just weld around it. Okay, we'll put that back. Maybe. All right. So yeah, we got that flange. Um, working our way back to the rear of the car. It's probably dark um, back here, so lighting might not be the best. Okay, right here, got a 10, size 10, dash 10, AN oil, oil return line. This will be for the oil drain on the turbo. Um, ordered that actually off eBay. Uh, it's like sales in four foot section and it's uh, it's not that much maybe twelve dollars here is VS Racing's 44 millimeter wastegates um, pretty good quality I've owned a few other Chinese wastegates before um, similar to this they've not been this big I think they were actually 38 millimeters um, and they've all performed fairly well long uh, longevity wise I've the cars I've had them on have sold, um, so I can't really say how well they do long, long wise. But this will be my first time trying VS Racing one. Um, it is water cooled. There's the water fittings. Uh, I just toss those in there, um, but I, I won't bother running water cooled on this. They're far enough away um, from some heat that I don't think it'll matter. And very few people run that unless it's on like a. Uh, like a Evo or something like that to where it's right up on the manifold coming out of the head. Uh, so I do have two of these. We'll V-band them bad boys on there. I added a second spring in them. Uh, when you order them, they come with three springs. Um, and I think the first one that's in it is maybe a six or seven pounder. And then there's another six or seven pound spring. And then I think there's a four pound spring. So I went ahead and put the four pound spring and I think the six or seven in there, I believe. Um, so I'd like to see close to 12 pounds of boost off wastegate. Um, pressure only, then maybe I can toss a manual boost controller or if funds allow, I'll do an automatic, automatic, <laughs> a uh, electronic boost controller. I, I did. Um, take some vice grips and I grip these down and sandwich them in and so as you can see that'll need tack welded in as well but it uh, it fits fantastic 
and then I got a couple two and a half inch maybe let's see I don't know two and a half two and a quarter uh, V bands uh, that way I can take my hot side on and off um, pretty easily without having to unbolt those three bolt flanges that direct that bolt directly to the manifold um, one last thing here is this no that is not apple juice yes that's apple juice bottle this is actually e85 in that um, my friend wanted me to test his e85 he got uh, the content actually showed up 95 percent on that the content in that i put in my car was 75 percent so needless to say i'm going to go fill up that jug and that jug with the content that he got that way we'll be running about 95 and we'll put that in here i only put five gallons of 75 in here so um i ain't too worried that might dilute it just a little bit but not enough to worry about so yeah uh hopefully here in a few weeks we'll uh have the hot side fabricated and everything take it down to my buddy's garage and we'll take care of that um, other than that i really don't have any other updates just a couple parts coming in that's all the parts i got coming in for now um just wanted to guys wanted to show you guys um that alternator relocation bracket and the power steering um lines i thought those were really good quality and i would recommend that for anyone but thanks for watching guys don't forget to like the video and subscribe